combine something. So you just you've di you've um Yeah we had it here for um to to keep all the roots and everything quite wet. The roots have been cut back by the nursery that we got it from. And there you can see and it's been grafted. And uh, it's been waxed with a silver wax oh, to, to protect the graft from any diseases and stuff getting in. It's been there's right. been a bit of wear and tear there. But that's the, yeah. the original graft that you can see there. I see. You can see. Okay. And how old is it now? This is now about a year old. Right. Uh, mm. We were supposed to plant it last year, but we, we put them away uh, for storage purposes, for in case one yeah. or two vines die. I see. That is actually not that perfect. And the eyes aren't, aren't showing any growth, so this one definitely gone. Yeah. So the grafting is what this is. So that that's this the is the area where it's been grafted. So it's and how did they graft it? We uh, they cut it with a small knife. Yeah. If I can just show you with a yeah. The scissors. They basically, some you get different cuts of grafting. Some people just cut them like, um, like this. Yeah. And this. Yeah. So it's like a they they took the rootstock. You know. The yeah, the root from. Yeah, and then they staple it together, and then. But it's a, right. this is a really just image. It's just basically showing you the yeah. principle. So they put the two, the rootstock and the, and the upper clone yeah. together. They staple it together and then, and then they wax it. And then it and then it joins. It joins. And why do they graft it? What's what's the point of grafting? Well, uh, the rootstock is more prone to diseases like phylloxera and and eel worms and stuff in 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 the soil. Right. Um, and some some rootstocks are much stronger growing than the upper. Uh, than the upper clone, right? Or the, uh, yeah. So what you're saying is, uh, so the rootstock is very much more hardy. Um, Definitely more hardy for and, uh, for, uh, for for conditions like drought, um, you know, so extreme wetness, extreme yeah. Um, water, Infestation. Yes. Yeah. Or something then even frost proof. Frost proof. Yeah. And then the top part then is much more delicate. That's much more delicate and, and of course the top part is the one that produces the grapes. Yes. The physical yeah. grapes that we harvest. Yeah, right. Okay. We're going to just show people how to to plant a new vine and um, you know what to avoid. Yes. And maybe you know what to do um, as we do in the South African Western Cape area. We, norm we normally would would lay out the whole block with all the poles. We would do the planting of the poles in rows um, six meter wide by two and point seven five or three meter depending on your on your soil strength, depending on what cultivars you your varieties you want to to grow. Um, it all helps uh, or do make make uh, have it all does have an effect on, on your plant width. Right. So first what we're going to do is um, we're just going to dig a hole, put the young mine in and uh, get all the, the, so the air compressed out of the air and then we'll water it properly. Right. Okay, so the first thing we normally do is we, we dig holes with a fork. There's other ways of doing it. Uh, just quickly show you. Uh, okay, let me just quickly get a spade. Yep. I'll, I'm going to dig the hole with a spade, eh? Right. So let's dig a proper hole. This is all, of course, in the row. It's got to be all perfectly yeah. behind one another. In a row. Okay. What kind of soil is it? This is, um... This is really good soil, actually. This is, um, there's a bit of clay content in, but this is also um, granite that has um, eroded over time. So that the granite component gives you the bit of the um, the looseness, and the clay content is is uh, for uh, holding the water. Yeah, right? holding water, and and of course for good growth. Mm. Clay clay is always fertile. It helps. I've shown you. This is where the graft is. This is the young vine that I took out a while ago. It needs to go into the soil now because the roots are getting dry. Um, there you can see some white roots already showing growth and it needs to go into the soil now. Normally the young vine would have shoots 
much longer we've cut this one back to get the young um, green shoots growing and it's easier to bend than the hard brown one okay so i'm putting it into the hole now this is basically the depth of of the hole just before i put it in the hole you can see where i've worked with a spade there's the, the, the spade smeared some of the size of the hole so i'm just going to work this loose with a fork so the roots once they um, become bigger can spread easier into the into the um, soil the whole block has been has been um, been prepared by a bulldozer with a big ripper so the soil are quite loose and now by doing that I ensure that the um, the roots can grow into the into the sides. I'm just gonna for um, because I don't have an assistant I'm just gonna close this by hand normally once you start putting soil back into the hole it's always good to step onto your roots and go and get all the um, all the air out of it it's just like planting any tree you don't want you don't want any air compacted uh, around the around the around your soil around the roots so you compact it with your feet and um, all the um, all the air are compressed out you fill your hole up and then um, make sure that you make sure that you compress all the air out of it because okay, so your young vine is now in your row op opposite the other ones so everything is aligned like you want it to be and in this case we already have a wire here for where we will be forming the cordon the arms left and the arms right and what we normally do is we use a steel peg about four to five millimeters thick and we just put it next to the young vine into the soil like that and now we can start training these shoots and we can tie them around here and bring them up where we will be forming a left and a right arm okay so after after step one of just getting the vine into the soil I think it's important that we water this vine immediately now let me just start off with after planting the young vine and putting in the peg there's two ways of watering this vine the first way is by the irrigation dripper line that we do have here but then of course we have to start up the pump and everything normally once we we plant vines we just water it either by hand or we let the dripper lines uh, run in this case I just I've just uh, been bringing five liters of water with and by adding the water all the air comes out you'll see some bubbles coming out of you see some bubbles coming out of the air so compressing the water basically now compressing all the air from, from away from the roots and filling those spaces with clay and, and soil so this vine should be on its way up the wire and in full growth